I'm Patrick from New York City. Today, I'm very proud to introduce a new standalone super cake Power Backup Macho PB9250J-SA, this one. Some of you might already know about our previous Power Backup Macho PB2500J, this one, launched back in 2018. For information, you can check the link here for more detail. So, please, still bear with me when I introduce the key feature of these two modules again. I assume none of you are the stranger to the term of power backup module. The first thing that came into your mind is UPS. Of course, I'm talking about this UPS, not the UPS. You might be wondering why Neosys will choose to enter such competitive and mature market because you know it's not our style. The reason we're doing this is because we still see a lot of improvement can be made to the power backup solution. So, to distinguish from the traditional UPS and uh, our power backup module, let's talk about our design purpose of power backup module. The major purpose of our power backup module is to let your computer can shut down properly when the power is lost. And this is what traditional UPS cannot do because the UPS cannot tell your computer to shut down. So when the UPS run out of the power, you will still face the issue like the data corruption, your hard drive will be damaged, and of course, the famous Microsoft VSOD. So let's see what is the function of this orange box can provide in order to protect your data and your hardware. Neosys Power Backup Module is designed to first, monitor the system's power consumption. Second, detect power loss and continuous to supply power to sustain the operation. Third, actively trigger the shutdown process with sufficient remaining battery. Fourth, Provide sufficient power to complete the proper shutdown process to avoid file or hardware damage. Last year, after we launched PB2500J, many customers are checking with us whether they can install this PB2500J into other manufacturers' box PC. Unfortunately, no. However, we still hear your feedback and voice. So now we decide to pull out this technology outside of the box and make it a, a standalone solution. And not only this, we can make it stronger and the bigger. I mean, bigger is the more power capacity. So now, this standalone power backup module can connect to any box PC like this one. Of course, we still wish you to use our box PC for your customer and your requirement. So now, let's see what other important feature that Neosys PB9250J-SA include. The first one would be the wide operating temperature. As you can see, with the black heat sinker here, the operating temperature can be from minus 25 to 65 degrees, which means it is very suitable for outdoor or harsh industrial environment deployments. And you can apply this module to the areas of application where a steady power supply is limited, such as in vehicle transportation, traffic enforcement, smart city, and etc. The second is patented super cap energy management and versatile operating mode. PB9250J is compatible with in-vehicle ignition control signal relay, or it can also act as a power backup module with ignition on and off signal. And the last one is, this module can have up to 10 years lifespan. Unlike standard UPS, only can survive in air count room. The long lifespan is the characteristic of the SuperCat technology. This is a very important feature for outdoor deployment because the customer will not want to send their maintenance crew 
to the field too optimally. So after we hear about all those introductions I mentioned before, now it's about time we can see the real demo. The white box over here is our power supply simulator. Of course, this orange box is the power pickup module, and this is the, the box PC. Okay, you know you have to notice you always need to put the power pickup module in between your power supply and the box PC. You can see the two wires here. This one is send the power out signal to the bus PC. And this one is supply the power to the bus PC. Okay? Now we turn on the thermal power supply. Of course, it will make the computer start up as usual. Now you hear the beat sound. So now the windows uh, start the boot up process. Okay? Okay, you can see now successfully we enter the Windows operating system. Okay, now we try to simulate the scenario of power on. If this is like the center power drop, like this one, no power supply, you can hear a sound from the power pickup module, and we make the power resume. Okay, for to the computer. This nothing happened. Okay, the computer can keep running as usual. But what if if no power resume like this? Okay, still you can hear the beat sound from the power backup module. Okay, then once the power uh, is run out from the power backup module, it will let the computer have the, still have the sufficient power to complete the shutdown process. And that is what we call about to make the computer can shut down properly. Okay, now you will see the computer will enter the shutdown process. And this time, you may also see the LED indicator to show you how much power still storage in here. So once all the LED light is not, then it means it's about to let the computer shut down. Okay, now you can see the, power, the computer can shut down successfully. So this is the beauty of our power backup module. Hi, the scenario now we are about to demo is the mode we call ignition control mode. The white box over here is our power supply simulator. Here you can see we also have a switch button for to simulate the signal of uh, ignition. And between the the power supply and the bus PC, we will put our power backup module in between. Okay, so now you can see two wires connect to our power backup module and the bus PC. This wire will send out the power out signal to the bus PC, and this this wire will provide the power to the bus PC. Okay, now if we the setting over here is the power on time is three seconds and the power off time is for 10 seconds, okay? Now we switch on the ignition, which means we start up the engine of the vehicle in the real world, okay? So in the real three seconds, you can see you hear the beat sound here. So this power module let the computer to boot up. So now you can see the computer is now is in the boot up process, okay? Okay, now 
the computer is running now. So try to imagine now we are in the vehicle. The driver is about to switch off the engine, something like that. So remember, we talked about now the setting in this power backup module, the delay of time is for 10 seconds. So after the 10 seconds, the power backup module will ask this computer to shut down. So now it's shut down. So you can see this is the scenario you can apply to your real in-vehicle application. No, so in the real world, sometimes I would say that it's a very seldom case. The battery in your vehicle cannot provide very stable power supply. So maybe you will have to sudden power drop from your battery. So here is the simulation. We we switch off the power supply. Okay, the computer can still running, and what if the power come back, I mean resume, the, the computer has no impact and can still keep running without any issue. So it can help you to protect your computer no matter what kind of battery quality you have in your vehicle. Today, we only use very short time to demonstrate two scenarios of our power backup module. I believe there are still many features deserve your time and effort to promote to your customer. So feel free to contact your sales contact for more detail. I'm Patrick, thanks for your watching. See you next time. Bye bye.